Hello everyone, JRR here, and welcome to my little corner of the world. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> now today, uh, we are going to go over uh, attributes uh, of characters. Uh, why do people do that? How would that even be a character in general? How, how, I mean, how, why would you do that? Exactly. It would be, it, barking would be just as good. I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just a thing. Maybe you gotta be bigger. Ooh, yeah! Snap it to a slingjum! I can do that. I don't work with that. But, anyway, today we are going to go over attributes of characters. This covers strength, intelligence, agility, charisma, stamina. Now, hold your horses. Oh. Whoa, 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 get away from the comic box. Get, get away from the comic box. Hold on. Slow your roll. Hold on. Chill. Hold on. I understand there's other attributes out there. Power, spirit, etc. I'm only covering the bare basics. So if you go into, say, a tabletop, you'll get the basic idea down, and if there's any questions, you can always go over to the instruction book. In fact, I would highly suggest that you go over to the instruction book anyway, just in case. Alright? But these are the attributes that are most common for characters, especially in roleplay games. So, that being said, let's go over attribute number one. The top, the primary stat for most physical types. Now, physical types are considered like the Incredible Hulk. The Juggernaut, Colossus, um, Bane. There's so many different people I can bring up. If you go through WWE, it would be like Kane, Undertaker, Big Show. And this stat, of course, is strength. To put your physical power as a force of offense against the enemy. Much punching, kicking, throwing, picking people up and hurling them, choking the shit out of them, headlock. Well, headlock is actually a technique, but you get an idea. Using raw force to outmuscle somebody. For those of you who watch DBZ, yes, I know power level and all that. But picture, picture Videl versus Bofovich, and Bofovich got his advantage. Once he got the advantage, that's pretty much raw power. He just starts beating the shit out of her. He doesn't try to outblast her. He doesn't try to outmove her. He just raw power. So, that being said, that's what strength is. Brute force. Yeah. The more power, the more physical strength you have, the more likely you're going to be called the brute force. Attribute number two, it's still a primary attribute, but it's attribute number two depending on who has it. And we're going to stay with the physical types right now. And that's agility. Your Rey Mysterio, your, uh, Spider-Man, Nightwing, um, those who rely more on quick motion, quick movements, you know, those who actually stick and move, stick, move, stick, you get the idea, that's agility. Speed is actually rate of attack, agility is able to move, able to get the fuck out of dodge, able to go near, all that happy stuff. That's agility. Of course, like I just mentioned, Spider-Man, Nightwing, Rey Mysterio, Jericho, technically. Um, you get the idea. People who are more on their able to move, able to get a body to go. I often separate agility and dexterity, but they're usually the same thing in most role play circles. For me, dexterity is moving the hands, slide of hand. You know. This would be more in a dexterity thing than agility.
I consider agility more for body movement. That's why I was doing a whole that kind of thing. So, my personal definition: agility is body, dexterity is sleight of hand. What do you think I was gonna do? I was gonna do this. Uh, I, 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 I can turn it up. I get a pair. You get the idea. Of course, like I said, in most gaming ads, yeah, most gaming aspects, dexterity and agility are pretty much the same thing. Movement up some part of your body. Now we move on to the third attribute, which is less for the physical types and more for the uh, Brain children, per se. Intellect. Now, again, this goes to Peter Parker, but this is more like Doc Ock. Zim, allegedly. <laughs> allegedly being a key word here. Undertaker, I guess, would count for that. Um, but your mages, your sorcerers, your wizards, those with high mind games. Um, which is how the Undertaker gets classified in it. But intelligence is just that. It's using your logic center. And it mainly goes for, like I said, casters. So if you're playing a mage on, say, World of Warcraft, you're going to go for intellect. That is your, that is your version of strength. Of course, there's a power stat that goes with it, but... We're not going to we're not going to go over that because power spirit that's a whole other kettle of fish and it got, that goes back to techniques and magic and I'm not in the mood to go back over that. No, seriously, I'm not. I already did a video on technique and magic. I, I already got a thing that separates the that. Moving along, that's what intelligence is. Our next lovely attribute coming up goes across the board. Constitution, stamina, I would say resilience, but no, some games actually break that off into something else. But stamina and constitution, endurance. It's pretty much how long you could take damage before... Kind of like that Rocky quote, where he says, it doesn't matter how hard you hit, it's how many hits you can take and keep going, or something like that. And yeah, that's pretty much what stamina and constitution is. It's your physical resilience. Physical resilience, there we go. And the stronger your physical resilience is, the better it is for your constitution because you're taking less damage. Um, Sean Michaels was a great example of physical resilience. He had a pretty high constitution, but his resilience kept him going. Resilience is pretty much how, much you can how quickly you can bounce back from so much damage. Which ties into your constitution. I just thought I was going to go over resilience and dare I went over really resilience. Well, certain types of resilience, I should say. This is your physical resilience and your energy resilience and all that happy shit. Whatever. The last thing we are going to cover. Yeah. Charisma. Something I don't have a lot of. Charisma is not just looks. And a lot of people sit there and go, oh, you rolled an 18 Charisma, you must be the prettiest motherfucker. No, it doesn't always mean just looks. I mean, it doesn't hurt. But uh, Charisma is... How can I say this? As much as John may like me to say this or not, I'm going to say it. Hitler had a high Charisma. Shawn Michaels, high Charisma. The Rock, high Charisma. Triple H, a little bit lower charisma, but he has charisma. Um, the Great Khali, uh, I don't think he has that much charisma. Daniel Bryant, I guess he has charisma? I don't know. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of people with positive charisma. With, with, with good ones. Longest time, Spider-Man technically had charisma. That man had a type of charisma. He scared the shit out of people. I guess that counts for something. Um, 
But yeah, that's what charisma is. It doesn't matter how... Well, it does matter to a degree. But charisma is often how well your character looks and how good of a person they are and how well they can get people to follow them. Now, you can be an evil motherfucker, but still have a high charisma. It's pretty much... Not influence, per se, but the way to get people to do things that you want because you are just that damn pretty ish or you are just that good at making a point and if I was better at making a point I'd have a lot more views and a lot more sense being made and a lot more people editing my shit but I don't have an editor so fuck you I can do it myself <laughs> I kid on a serious note however that is what charisma is the higher the charisma, the more people want to work with you, things of that nature. Now, like I said, I don't like doing scripted things. For my videos, I try not to be scripted. I really try not to, because there's a lot of people doing scripted stuff, and that's fine. If I get a script, I'll work with people. That's fine. But I normally don't do scripted stuff on my channel, because I like having spontaneous, like having things happen. Of course, things don't have to happen, and things don't happen, but the small stuff I do that's scripted are like the little gags, like the whole cross draw, back draw, um, had a couple other ones that came up too, but with all that said, with all that said, charisma is very important if you want to be a leader, charisma is very important if you want to have the ability to get out of situations. If you don't work up your charisma, James Bond, James fucking Bond, I knew it would come to me eventually. James Bond has a high charisma. James Bond. James Bond, Batman, people like that, where they can co convince you, convince you something, and you don't even think it's a convincing, but it's convincing you somehow, some way, it's got you convinced. You fucking James, fucking James Bond. Pretty much anything that you walk into the place and is like, hey, you, the power to draw attention to you. And I don't have that power, so. <laughs> but you see the point. That's charisma. In a nutshell. So, we've covered the main stats. Covered strength, intellect. Agility, stamina, and charisma. We've covered the five core. And it's a, lot, a little bit longer than I expected, but whatever. So, I want y'all to have fun. Have a good day. And, um... I'm out. Screw you guys, huh? Leave it over.